Hey you guys, in this lesson we're gonna draw another Fortnite skin. Which one are we drawing? Fish stick. He's the goofy fish one. Yeah, with his eyes like poking out. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. Some paper and something to color with. You ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first draw his eyes. We're gonna draw him up here at the top of our paper so that we have room for his body. And I'm gonna draw a circle about that size and then I'm gonna draw another circle the same size over here. Yeah, and then inside of the eyes, let's draw his pupils. I'm gonna draw little ovals and color them in. His eyes are on the side of his head, just like yeah. a fish. <laughs> now, now we're gonna draw a little wrinkle on the top of each eye. Now we're going to repeat all of the same steps because he's symmetrical on both sides. And then we're going to draw another wrinkle on the bottom. So a little curve here and a little curve over here. Okay, now let's draw a line that connects his two eyes together up here. So we're going to draw a little curve that go goes across the top. Yeah, now let's draw the bottom of his head. We're going to draw a curve that comes down like this, around, and then connect back up on the other side. Now, <laughs> now let's draw his fish lips. We're gonna draw an oval, a really wide oval. And then inside, we're gonna draw another oval, and this one we can color in also. There we go, yeah, he looks like fish stick yeah. already. <laughs> now we can draw his hat. We're gonna draw a curve that starts over his eye, it goes up like this, and then back down on the other side. <laughs> then let's draw a line that comes out, and another line on the other side, and then let's connect these two with a wiggly S line. It's like a bag. Now let's add another line that goes across the bottom of his hat, and then also a line up here on the top. Then we can draw a line that comes down his hat, right down the middle. And then let's also add some stitching. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle shape. So I'm going to draw an L, a long L, and then an upside down L to complete the rectangle. Let's do that a couple more times for the stitches. So let's do one more. So there's three. There's more, but we can just keep it simple like yeah. that. Now let's draw another curve that comes underneath his chin, right next to it. This is a little strap that's keeping the sack or hat on top of his head. <laughs> then let's draw the little tie down at the bottom. We're going to draw two lines coming down and then connect them at the bottom. Let's do that again. Two more lines and then connect them. All right, cool. Now on the side of his hat, he has a little flap that's coming down. So let's draw a line down and then back in. And we'll do the same thing over here. Down, back in. All right, we did it, we finished his head. Now let's draw his body. We're first gonna draw his neck. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this and then back up. Now let's draw his shoulders. We're gonna draw two lines, come out on each side. Then we're gonna draw two lines that come down. This is for the top of his body. Then right here, let's connect the two lines or the, these two side lines together. He has two little pouches. We're just going to draw one of the pouches first, and then we'll draw the second one at the very end after we've drawn his legs. So we've got a little rectangle shape. Then we're going to draw the flap on top. Then let's draw the sides of his pants. We're going to draw two lines that come down on each side. And then we're gonna draw wiggly lines. So we're gonna come out like this, back in, and we can do this on both sides. You were telling me about these little bumps. We're gonna draw a smaller one. Do you think these are little fins sticking out on yeah. his legs? And then we're gonna draw another one on the other side. Yeah, okay, and then we're gonna finish his legs. We're gonna draw lines that come down the rest of the way. Good job. Now we're gonna draw the inside of his legs. We're gonna start really close to his ankle and we're gonna draw this line that curves up like this and then it's gonna curve down on the other side. He's got really skinny legs. <laughs> there we go. Then right here, let's connect at the bottom. This is his ankles. 
Then the end of his feet look like little fins. So let's draw a curve that comes down on both sides. Oh, if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, <laughs> guys can pause the video if you need extra time. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of his foot. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up, back down, and then back up. He has pretty big arches. Yeah, big arch. <laughs> he has strong arches. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a line that goes over the top and connects back into his legs. We'll do the same thing over here. Look like little noodles. Yeah, <laughs> they look like flippers or fins. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's draw the bottom of his pants. We're gonna draw two lines right below the bumps on both sides. Now let's draw his belt. We're gonna draw a line that comes across and then continue on the other side of that little pouch. Now let's draw his belt buckle. We're gonna draw a sideways V and then a line down. All right, let's draw that second pouch. Over here, we're gonna draw a line that comes out, down, and back in. Okay, Jack, what are we missing up here on the sides? His arms. His arms. We're gonna draw a line that curves way down like this on both sides. <laughs> now he has really skinny fingers, so we're gonna curve back in like this and then back up. We can do that over here too. Back up. Then we're gonna draw his thumb. We're gonna draw another V shape. And let's get a little closer to his wrist. You're really close, that's good. And we're gonna draw that thumb over here. Now let's finish his arms. We're gonna draw a line. Watch this at the top, it gets thicker. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll start really close at his wrist and then thicker up by his shoulders. All right, let's add a few more fingers. I'm just gonna add another sideways, two sideways V's right here inside of, of his hand. And that makes his hand look more 3D because he's got more fingers. And we're missing one last thing on his shirt and his pants. It's stitching. Yeah, it looks like stitching. We're gonna start right here on the inside of his leg. We're gonna curve in and up to the belt. Now let's do the same thing over here, but we're gonna to connect to that pouch. Okay, now we're gonna imagine that line going through his belt, coming up his chest, and then we're gonna go across and then back down. Now we're gonna add those little stitches that we added up here on his hat. We're gonna do those down here on his shirt. So let's draw a little rectangle. And I'm gonna draw another one over here on the right side. And you can really just add these anywhere. They're just kind of randomly placed on his shirt and also on his pants. So I got a couple up here, a few up on his shirt, and then I'm gonna add two down here on his leg. And then also maybe two over here on the left side, and one down here at the bottom. All right, now if you need more time to add all those stitches, you can pause the video, take that extra time. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing Fish Stick. He looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to do one last thing. Color him. Yeah, he's gonna look so much better colored in. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Good job, man! You did awesome on coloring fish stick. He looks really cool. I especially love that extra shading. We used red to color underneath his chin and his lips to make him look a little more 3D. Yeah. Now you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your fish stick. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours. Ours look a little bit different, and yeah. that's okay because they both look awesome. And the most important thing is... To have fun. Have fun. And, and to practice. Yeah, to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.